All right, guys, so I am at the thrift store again, and actually, just looking at this bag, look, guys, these are the color reveal Barbies. They're already showing up at the thrift store. So today I started at the fashion doll section. I had gone to that section where, oh, look, one of those that were dressed in these last time, they're still here. What doll is this? Huh. Um, but yeah, um, I went to the front of the store because that's where they keep the more expensive dolls, but um, they don't uh, have anything. Uh, today, there's like one doll there, uh, but, and it's not a good doll, like it's not a, you know, an expensive doll or anything. Uh, but here we have, look, the color reveal Barbies, and I like her face, but she's one of those that has a hard head, so I feel like it would be too difficult to remove her head. Another one that I saw that I like, this Teresa, I feel like she's one of those dolls of the world dolls, but she doesn't have any clothes on, so even though she's really beautiful, I might pass up on her. And then this one is a really lightweight, like the plastic, it's like bendy doll, I guess. More up here with Barbies. Um, but yeah, it's look, one of the Olsen twins. $3.99. See, every time they have clothes, they're like a little more expensive. Which one is this one? Hmm, she has an interesting face. Who is she? $2.99 for this bag. So yeah, so I, I feel like the prices are usually now I'm intrigued about this one. I want to look this one up. Um, but yeah, but not much here today. I mean, I'm here on a Sunday afternoon, so I feel like all the good stuff already went away. Like this one here, she actually has, her face is really pretty, and she has like her wings and everything. It's $5.99 for that one. And uh, this one, the same thing, but this one's $3.99. But I do have quite a bit, and look, another, I think, she might be a color reveal one? I'm not sure. But she's definitely a mermaid type doll. Here's another one. Um, but yes, but I did get a few things in my cart here that I'm thinking about. So we have, this bag is $2.99. There's a Bratz doll in here. Um, but her face does have that mark. I mean, I'm pretty sure with acne cream, I probably could remove that. She does actually have her shoes, so maybe I'll take it because it might be worth it. And there's an awesome twin in there as well as this doll. For $2.99, that's a maybe. This one is also a maybe because she's a Teresa doll and she does have an outfit on. I don't know if it's her original outfit. And this doll also has her outfit, so again, another maybe. Um, even that one that I'm going to try to check out to see what all that is. I like her face. It's very different. Uh, and then this one, $2.99, and it a, has a My Team doll. And you guys told me I shouldn't uh, pass up on these. Uh, so I might get her. I mean, she's really beautiful. I do like the My Team dolls. I do have one in my collection. Uh, so yeah, that's an, another maybe. And this one, $3.99. It's, um, I forgot the name of these. Uh, they're called, I think, I forgot their names. But this one, I don't know who she is, but she's also really pretty. But I think they're so cute. Um, and there's two of them, actually. And, oh, Madeline dolls. And look, she actually has her clothing. Like, basically the entire thing. So I might take it. And this one's $3.99. And there's two other dolls in here, which I don't know who these are. And then look guys, last week when I, no last week or the other week that I came here, um, I wanted to get this because I got the pink girl, but she was in a bag with two other dolls that I, you know, that they were not good and it was more expensive, but look now it's $2.99, so I think I'm definitely going to take her because that way I'll have the three colors. So now I'm going to go to the big doll section and see what else they have there. So for now I'll keep these in my cart, I'll think about it. Um, but yeah, so let's see what they have in the big doll section. Okay, so the big doll section is very picked through. Same dolls as last time here. Not too many new things. This looks kind of vintage, but yeah, Unida doll. I feel like I've heard of this name before. 
a little my little pony and there's a whole bunch of styling heads up here and look at this one that's scary and they want 7.99 for her that is crazy she's pretty and she's still here this girl she's cute i feel like i saw her last time we got nothing too new. Cabbage Patch. This girl's still here. This Merida. Um, I'm sorry about the music, guys. Oh, look. Is this like one of those Bratz babies? $2.99. don't really know. But yeah, there's nothing really here. I don't know. There's a little mermaid doll down there. Maybe I'll look at that. Uh, but I did find actually... I found this bag. Uh, this looks like a vintage, like Barbie doll, baby, like from the Hearts family, maybe. So maybe I'll take this. It's three dollars. I mean, I don't know about the other figures in here. And then there's another one here that I'm thinking about. Four dollars. Uh, there's two hair. I think these are hair adorables, if I'm not mistaken. There's two of these in here, and they're also like little, maybe McDonald's Barbies in here. Um. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah, let me try to see if I can see what that mermaid down there is all about. Okay, so it's actually just this plushie here. And uh, there's this doll car too. It looks like a Corvette doll. But look, so unfortunate that this happened. Um, I don't know if this is like... I don't think this is a Barbie car, but it's a clone car and it's pretty cool. But yeah, nothing here. Uh, today. Okay, so now I'm at the porcelain doll section. And there's not much here. I feel like there's a lot of the same dolls. I mean, they do have these. Like, like I say always, like the outfits are always so amazing. But uh, she, I think this, this is like an ornament type uh, doll. Like, look at this dress. It's always really, really pretty. But nothing really that I want. Um, oh, this is kind of interesting. More dolls down here. Looks like this one is kneeling. Then up here, same sculpture still here. That's an interesting doll. I'm gonna go look at the other side to see if there's anything, but nothing new over at this section. Okay, and the other side, that poor Snow White, she's still here. More porcelain dolls. Uh, let's see here. If there's anything really different. All right, guys, here we go. Cute little thing. You know, I always mention like their outfits. It's always something that I want. I think I saw one that was on the other side. Oh, this girl right here. Like I like her outfit a lot. But she's ten dollars. So that's a little too much. Down here there's some teddy bears and things. This little teddy bear. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, oh, and that interesting one. Oh, maybe she's a different one. I was thinking about another doll. But yeah, but... And look, this one's actually protected, which is nice. See, this is another one that's really nice. I love her outfits. Like, I like these that are usually very well dressed. Uh, the dolls that have this face sculpt. But yeah, I mean, if I got it, it would be just for her outfit. But I don't know. Ten dollars a little bit of you know like it's quite pricey and here's a native american one and up here there's other dolls the precious moments one's actually really adorable and look at that outfit i mean this is just so gorgeous guys so beautiful maybe one of these days i will buy these just for their clothes but i don't know but yeah guys so I will take a look at my cart here now and decide if I'm taking this or not. So we'll see. All right, so I am back home and actually for somebody who said 
um, you know, that there wasn't a lot there today. I actually picked up quite a few things. Um, and the cool thing was that I actually did have a 20% off discount uh, coupon. So, you know, that was even better. So um, I ended up getting uh, this first bag here was $3.99. And I ended up getting it mostly for the, Ma I think, Madeline doll, I think is the name of these dolls. And she's basically fully clothed. Uh, the only thing she's missing are her shoes. But I've found these dolls before and I've picked them up in the past. And some of them did have their clothes, but some of them don't. So I have to kind of look for them now because I, I'm pretty sure I have them in stored somewhere. But um, yeah, so anyway, I picked it up mostly for, for her. I mean, this Barbie is also very beautiful. I love her face and she does have an outfit. Uh, her leg does have a little bit of an issue here, but I'll probably keep her as well. This one is by Simba Toys. I'm not sure uh, who she's meant to be. She's very lightweight and then she even has like all this plastic stuff on her hair still. So somebody basically just removed it from the box. So for $3.99, considering she comes basically fully clothed, I think that was a pretty decent deal for that bag. This bag was $2.99 and I kind of grabbed it last minute just because I thought this doll had such an interesting face. I had never seen this before. So if you guys know who this is, let me know because there's two dolls in this bag that have the similar uh, style face. and they But they have these smaller skipper bodies and they are, I think, by Mattel. Yes, it's 2001 Mattel. See, this girl is the same thing like these two. I think they are from the same line as her teeth seem to the pink is a little bit maybe it's just some cleaning this girl i guess she's a barbie doll with the flat feet not sure about her if i'll keep her or not um i'll think about it. i mean her face is very uh unique uh that one was 2.99 for three dolls which again is not you know a bad deal uh, next is this bag was 3.99 for two dressed uh barbie dolls i picked it up mostly for the teresa dolls teresa dolls are some of my favorites and she even has her hair thing i don't know if this dress is her original dress though uh she even has some tape on her hair i'm not sure what that's about uh, but yeah but i'm super happy um to have picked up a different looking teresa doll for my collection and this girl she's also very pretty uh, her dress is okay and then just her feet um you know i don't know if this is her original body or not if you guys know let me know uh, down below in the comment section then this bag was $3.99 as well and these two dolls came here and you know I picked it up again for the boy doll from the Madeline line and he is basically fully clothed I mean I don't know if he's missing any other accessories but he even has his shoes which is pretty cool so that was a good deal and then this doll I don't know who she is either but she has a very pretty face and um it does say, I think, Mattel on the back of her head. Let me double check. Yeah, Mattel 2000. So if you guys know who this is, let me know. I mean, her face is really pretty. She's just smaller, though. She's smaller than the skipper size. Then is the bag. Uh, this was kind of in the other toy section, not the doll section. Uh, but I think these are called hair adorables, if I'm not mistaken. Um you guys let me know if you guys know and i mean i'll maybe do a google search that bag was 3.99 uh for all of these figures here i mean it was a little bit pricey but there were two of these in there uh i think they just need some cleaning i mean this girl she does have this on her face but hopefully that will wipe off but i just thought they were really cute i like you know different style type dolls um and usually i do prefer you know bigger dolls but i think because they have the bigger heads i kind of like them so i picked them up um you know i think in the past i was very restrictive about my collecting uh in terms of just collecting certain lines because i didn't want to go too crazy and expand you know there's consideration of space and money uh but you know if i find these different types of dolls in the thrift store i've, I've changed my mind about that and i will pick them up because i feel like these are toys that you know eventually may even disappear i don't even know if they're going to continue this line for example so at least i feel like i have a sample of what this uh you know when this toy was around because i feel like doll lines they come and go and you know sometimes you don't see them anymore and i just feel like toys what i like about collecting toys is that they're kind of part of a history like you know part of what you know companies thought kids would like at the time i guess is what i'm trying to say but anyway, so they also came with these figures. I don't know 
uh, what these are. So if you guys know, I always appreciate you guys letting me know. You guys are so knowledgeable. I learned so much. This one's just kind of rubbery. Uh, hmm. And this doll, I'm pretty Spin Master, I think it says on her legs somewhere. And so I'm pretty sure this is kind of like a almost like a McDonald toy type thing for those is it live dolls if I'm not mistaken uh let me know guys if you know but that's interesting it's kind of having like a little doll for your doll uh it's the same thing with this one I thought she was a Barbie but she may not be one but I would still kind of use her as a doll for my doll um and same for this one you know I like that they have like rooted hair so that's cool then down here, we have another uh, bag full of toys. This one was a little bit cheaper. It was $2.99. I picked it up mostly for this baby because I was pretty sure this was one of those Mattel babies from like maybe the Hearts family. And it's so funny down here. Look, guys, they, I wonder if they like give them water. They're supposed to like pee or something because they have this hole down here. So that's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, but it did say Mattel, I think 1987 or something. Yeah, here we go. So I have the Hearts family, a mom. So now I have a baby, uh, which I didn't have. And then we have this Belle figure, which is by Hasbro. And I think it also said McDonald's or something down here, maybe. Or just Hasbro. Um, to her little feet down here is kind of funny. Uh, yeah, so this is from the live action, I'm pretty sure. Um, then we have this, uh, this is a Barbie, um, and it said McDonald's on the back. So this one I think is the one I can be anything type Barbie. So again, it's like a doll for your doll type thing. So I'll probably keep these uh, little doll-like figures because, you know, eventually when I have space, I would like to do kind of dioramas or things, and that would be a cool thing to do. And here's another one of those, uh, I think, live dolls. So that's kind of cool. And then there was another hair adorable uh in there a different one so now i have three of them which is kind of cool and then the next bag this was the one that i picked up first i think when i uh walked in and this bag was 2.99 and i did get it mostly for her and i'm so you know because you guys said oh if you do see a my scene barbie you know pick it up and i do have one in my collection she was fully clothed when i got her so that was you know really lucky i mean she definitely needs cleaning on her face her hair is okay i mean again just needs some cleaning but Again, I need to pay more attention, guys, when I'm at the thrift store. Because sometimes I'm grabbing things and then I throw them in the cart. And then, you know, I'm rushing out because I'm with family and stuff. And people don't have a lot of patience to shop with me. So, you know, uh, we're just rushing out to leave. And then I don't get to really inspect the bags really well. And look, ugh, I'm so sad, guys. I mean, I think the Mycene Barbies. And look, I think her leg. Is this like dirt or... Yeah, I guess this is dirt because I thought maybe there was an issue there. But yeah, but this is so upsetting, guys. But, you know, she's still a very beautiful doll. And I do think my scene dolls have these kind of almost brats-like shoes. So maybe I'll try to find shoes somewhere. This one, broken neck and flat feet. So I don't know what I'll do with her. Maybe I will finally use the Mattel recycling program. Um, which I'm not fully against, by the way. I mean... Like, you know, I was upset when they first announced it because I feel like maybe parents who don't really know what they have, you know, may just go and do the recycling thing instead of taking it to the thrift store where other people can give that toy a second chance, you know? So that was my own thing. Like, I understand, like, for broken toys like this, for example, or, you know, toys that are absolutely beyond repair, like, I think the recycling is great for that, but... You know, anyway, that was, I went on a tangent about that. This one, I have no idea what this doll is. And, um, no, like, no brand or markings are other than this. So, I don't know what this is about. Uh, but I picked up this bag mostly for her. And she was there, uh, I think, a, a couple weeks ago. And, but she was in a bag with other dolls that were in worse condition than this, I think. Or probably about the same but because they had clothing on they wanted more money i think they wanted like 3.99 or 4.99 and so i'm glad that they, maybe they put her in a different bag and now she was cheaper so i'm super happy because now i have three dolls from this doll line 
and they each have a different skin tone and that's the reason why i picked it up because i love the fantasy uh, skin tone that they have very unique i love it i'm so excited about her then we have um oh actually never mind this was one bag <laughs> this is another bag here we go uh, but yeah both of these were 2.99 and so this doll here um i don't know what i'll do about her i'll probably donate her back uh, she does have the flat feet i think this is just um maybe a barbie doll i don't know she has a different face this one's the same thing i probably donate her back she does have these interesting feet um but and she's very lightweight too but i'll probably donate her back as well and then here we have uh the brats doll that i picked up because you guys also tell me that you know the prices are good for the brats $2.99 um i think it's good regardless of some, a couple of issues that she has again because i didn't inspect the bag very well like her feet are not matching up and she also has some weird marks on her legs um you know but sometimes also looking through the bags like for these marks sometimes you can't really see it clearly you know like the bags can be very deceiving uh, but she does have a beautiful face i'll just have to remove that mark um, I don't know if I'll use the acne cream for this or if I can just use maybe some acetone, but just be very careful not to remove her face up. Uh, but other than that, you know, her hair just needs a cleaning. She does have a beautiful face. I actually think I have also a couple of Bratz dolls stored somewhere. And I actually, the other day, did find a bag of Bratz shoes that I had as well. So that's good, you know, because that, that way I can use them for those that I find that have no feet. Um, and then with her came this doll. Uh, I wonder if this is one of those Barbie uh, generic type. It says Kid Core. Because I feel like that brand may have been a, a Walmart brand. Uh, I think somebody told me once. I'm not 100% sure. But I might donate her back. I don't know. And then the Olsen, one of the Olsen twins that was there. Uh, she does have that skipper body. And uh, she is done by Mattel. Let's see if I can... Yeah, here we go, Mattel. So I don't know, I might, um, I don't know if I'll keep her. I'll, I'll think about her, uh, but that was $2.99. So anyway, guys, that was my haul for today. I think it was still a pretty good haul, and especially because even though there were a couple of dolls with some issues, um, but you know, we can always clean them up and, and give them shoes and hide, you know, the defects. But um, yeah, I, I thought it was pretty good and I also had a coupon, a 20% off coupon. So anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And thank you all so much for the comments. I always enjoy reading all the comments. And I'm sorry if I do take a while to get back to you guys. It's just been a little bit crazy in my personal life. But um, I always appreciate the comments. I learned so much from you. You guys have so much knowledge about different types of dolls. And I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Ciao.